Chana Eliza To. Hello, everybody. Guys, I am graduating university today. Also, I'm wearing a top. It's a tube top. I'm not just naked on camera. Today is June 13th, 2023, and today is convocation. I am graduating today with a Bachelor of Engineering, majoring in Electrical Engineering at McMaster University. It's really weird how like Canadian universities and colleges do it, but even though exams finish at the end of April, it takes some time to like process marks and like approved to graduate and stuff so usually graduation isn't until the end of may to june which is so weird because i literally already started working post-grad life and now i'm going back to school to graduate but it's fine it doesn't feel like i'm graduating like it doesn't feel like i did five years of school and now we're graduating and was i literally just looking at post-grad programs yesterday because i'm already having like student withdrawals yes Literally, I have family from all over the world here right now, which is crazy. Long story short, if you guys watched my vlogs two years ago, wait, two years ago? One year ago, oh, my whole family here in Canada went to Ireland to go to my sister's graduation. She actually graduated in 2020, but because of COVID, her ceremony wasn't until 2022 when it was safe to do so. My family here flew there. I already had my aunt and uncle that were living in Dublin. So they came to her graduation and my aunt from Iceland, because she flies everywhere, she also came. So as a joke, while the whole family was there, I was like, hey, like you guys are somehow all here for ages graduation. Like you better be there for mine. And not gonna lie, I just meant it as just like a Shauna Woody joke because like I just I say shit like that I can't control it I have no filter but they took it very seriously and they kept their word and they flew to Canada from Ireland and Iceland to come to my graduation right now they're at my aunts in Hamilton I'm at home right now with Evan and Asia well Evan's out right now but he's gonna come home and get ready Asia's on a work call and then we're going to drive to Hamilton to drop Asia and my stitch off with the rest of my family unfortunately I could only get three tickets for graduation so it's just my parents and Evan, but they're gonna come after for pictures. And then we were gonna do like a backyard dinner at my Nana's house, but somehow that my mom says she wants to go to the Mandarin now. They made the choice of the Mandarin without me. So whatever, I'll go to the Mandarin. So we're doing a dinner thing after. And I really need to start getting ready. I'm waiting for my sister to finish her work call so she can curl my hair. Stitchy. Are you excited for your mommy to graduate? Look, I already put Stitch's outfit on. He has like a football jersey that my mom got him for Christmas that says McMaster University. So um, he's ready to represent. Are you excited for mommy's graduation? Practice the handshake, give me paw. Bro, look at this guy. He's like, I don't want to shake your hand, bro. Okay. <laughs> oh, Billy Rub. My closest friend in university, I know she's watching this video, hi Ryan, I got her a little graduation present because I saw it on Etsy and I wanted to get her like a graduation present so I'll show you guys what I got her. She literally loves reading so I wanted to get her a cute little custom bookmark. It's a rose gold engraved bookmark. It says enjoy the next chapter and then it has a little dangly thing and those are her initials engraved. And then if you flip it, and then it says class of 2023 on the other side. It's just a cute little bookmark, and I hope she likes it. I'm very excited to give this to her. She was literally my closest friend in university, and I'm so sad that we don't live in the same city anymore. Graduation is literally just keeping me on a high right now, and I need it as a distraction because in three days, I'm literally having surgery and my knee is getting re-sliced open in like six different ways and I'm gonna have stitches and I'm gonna go to physio and I'm gonna be in so much pain. I'm literally gonna be like shot up with morphine. We need to start getting ready. Alright guys, I'm here with my sister. Hello. I'm so excited I don't have to curl my own hair. Okay, when I curl my own hair, it only looks good from the front. It looks like shit from the back because I can never see the back. Okay, we're doing like, look, we're doing one of those chains. I'll do stitches hair. <laughs> Let me try, we just go with the motions Close your eyes, ease your mind for a moment 
Need no smoke that make you feel you floating. You know joke or you pressure, you know it. Okay. Oh, it's pretty! Oh, it's pretty! Oh my god, it looks so Why are nice. you surprised? <laughs> <laughs> because I haven't curled your hair in a while, so. Alright, guys, hair is done. Wait, show them the back. Oh, sorry. Here's the back. It's la, so la. cute. Stitchy, you look so cute, Baba. Why do you have a fluff in the middle of your forehead? I don't think I have a good makeup routine or even like a very interesting one, so I think I'm just gonna do like a time lapse of my makeup, but my entire life. But if you guys want an updated one, whatever, let me know. I don't follow the pressure, I be handling the business. Get it finished, no extras, don't get into specifics. Wave maker, I came up at the Pacific. No, you don't trust what you can see. Some things are left to believe in. I just wanna know you believe me. You feel nothing good in life would be this easy. You don't trust what you can see, but some things are too good to believe in. Okay, guys, makeup is done. Let's go put on my dress. Okay guys, emergency is striking. I put on my dress from Aritzia and I was like, oh my god, there's a bump. They literally, wait, can I show this? They literally left this freaking security tag on. So now we need to run to the mall, go to Aritzia, get them to take it off, and then put my dress back on and then go. We're supposed to leave in like 10 minutes, or 15 minutes, but I think we're just going to leave now so we have time to go to Aritzia. Yay! Very stressful situation. Update guys, we are in the car. We just got to the mall-ish. Well, we're pulling in the mall. Ooh, Aritzia's right there. You know, run in, get them to take a security tag off, put my dress on in the car. I guess I could put it on Nana's, but... Why would I put it on there? Just walk out. In it? No, I don't want to do that. Then we gotta get gas and then book it to the hammer. How are we feeling, everybody? I mean, I guess you guys don't matter how you're feeling. It's more about what I'm feeling. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I was at a AOT cafe. AJ, I love her using my dog as a table. <laughs> Multi-purpose. He's so happy though. He's like happy to help. Because he can also see, because he like my legs are crossed. Oh. <laughs> you can see above the window. Honestly, looking super crusty. We love the smudged mascara eyeliner look, but I kind of wanted to do a little follow up um, after yesterday's graduation. First of all, I wanted to vlog way more of yesterday 
Evan and my sister had my camera, not the one I'm filming on right now. So they had this camera and for some reason, this boy was acting up. It literally had a fresh, clean slate memory card, 32 gigabytes. Usually I can get around like two hours of footage on this memory card, but for some reason it was only showing them 30 minutes of footage and it was at 100% and then started dying right after the ceremony, which didn't make sense. So I haven't looked at what footage Evan and my sister got yet, but I'm sorry that it wasn't more. So I couldn't even take photos on this camera. We took all the iPhone photos, but honestly, the memories are up here. So iPhone quality is fine. And I last minute scored a ticket for my sister to actually come to convocation. And literally when we were like 10 minutes away from the venue, I randomly found out that one of my friend's siblings wasn't able to make it. So I was like, wait, that means you have an extra ticket that's not being used. And he was like, yeah. And I was like, well then can I use it? So I got it for my sister. So it was with my parents, Evan and my sister were able to attend. And the rest of my family watched at my Nana's house cause they also live streamed the graduation, which was pretty cool and yeah and then after unfortunately it was raining guys like me and my friend had plans to like take pictures at the venue when it was done and then drive to campus which was like five minutes away and take more photos like at all the iconic campus spots but it was literally raining and then my family had dinner reservations at 6 30 like the ceremony was from 2 30 to like 4 30 but honestly it went to like five so we had like less than an hour and a half to do photos so i'm honestly really sad i didn't get to take photos on campus but it is what it is but yeah dinner was so fun with my family we went to the mandarin and took up like an entire long ass table it was so nice i got a few grad gifts that i maybe i should show you guys it might be fun also i literally just cleaned this counter before we left and it's a mess so let's just start with flowers because flowers are pretty i'm actually blanking who these are from i know one's from my parents and one is either for my grandparents or my aunts. I can't remember. But yeah, I got two beautiful bouquets of flowers. Oh, and my Nana gave me a rose from her garden. But she also gave me this yellow mug. And then these are just the pamphlets. Itinerary? Is that what it's called? This thing that has like what's going on and all the graduate names and everything like that. And then they gave me this after I walked the stage. It's just a cute little card saying welcome to McMaster Alumni Association and it comes with like a little McMaster Alumni pin. Don't really know why I'm gonna stick that on yet. Oh, Evan got me this gift basket that they were selling there. It came with a teddy bear. I'll show you guys that. But it's a really cute McMaster Class of 2023 mug. I kind of just left all of my gifts here on the console table so I could show them. From my aunt and my uncle that came all the way from Ireland, which previously lived in Dubai and previously from the Philippines, they got me jewelries from... So, see, you can tell I'm not bougie because I don't know how to pronounce this. Swavarsky, I think that's right. It's this gorgeous necklace. I'm so excited to wear it. Look how pretty it is. It has like little diamond things there and it's like a little dangly thing. I love how like asymmetrical it is. And then I got a Pandora gift from my aunt. It's the little graduation owl. He's so cute and he has a little dangly tassel there. So I'm very excited to add this to my bracelet. And then I got another Pandora gift from my aunt and her boyfriend. They came from Iceland. Like, guys, people, when I tell you everyone came from everywhere, I'm not even joking. They got me this cute bracelet. I love the Pandora box. I've never had, like, a different Pandora box. Like, I've only ever seen, like, the classic white ones, if that makes sense. They got me this really cute Pandora bracelet. I've never had one of, like, the chain link ones. This is what it looks like. It has, like, a little arrow there. But I think I need to exchange it for one size smaller just because this is, like, really big for my wrist so i'll probably go to the mall soon to get that exchanged smaller and then my grandparents from my dad's side gifted me lightsy they always come in these red envelopes and there's money inside it's a very traditional like chinese thing evan also got me this graduation bear which is so cute i really wanted one for our bookcase and then when evan graduates i think it'd be super cute if we had matching ones so he's in the little robe and his cap and then here is my degree in the frame. My mom actually bought this frame a few months ago when it was on sale at the campus store. So there she is in all her glory. Right now it's just leaning on the console table because I don't have anywhere else to lean it. But eventually I'm going to hang it on the wall in the office. 
Oh wait, I have one more thing. And then my aunts also gave me this plant as also like a housewarming present as well, which I was so happy about because we don't have any big standing plants and I really, really wanted one. So that just came at the perfect time because we only have like our little plants and such. So I'm very excited about this. I don't know where to put it yet. I eventually wanted to put it in that corner, but we're holding this table for my sister right now. So maybe I'll put it like in that corner or something. I just feel like it would look very good in a corner. It honestly feels so weird to be done. Like five years was so long, but I also barely remember it. Like it just feels like it went by so fast. Grateful and exciting, but I'm also like very sad and bittersweet that it's over. Like it is literally over. That being said, I think I'm gonna end this video now. You know, will we do a master's to go be a student again? I guess we'll see. But for now, I am done with school. And yeah, and if you're currently in school, working in college or university, high school, elementary school, whatever it is, keep working hard. You got this. And I promise you it will be so, so, so worth it in the end as long as you keep pushing forward, persevering, hard work, dedication, all that stuff. Guys, it's worth it. And it's just, it feels so good. Like I cannot explain what I'm feeling because it's just like, it's so overwhelming, but it's so happy, but it's so sad. Like I, I can't even put into words. So I'm just gonna recollect myself and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching me graduate.